All right. Welcome, everyone, to the November 13th uh, Kubernetes SIG Service Catalog weekly meeting. Uh, this is Aaron speaking. Uh, Paul is out this week, so I'm going to take his place. Um, I'll also be doing the standard speaker queue for the meeting, which I'll explain in a second. Uh, for anyone who doesn't have it, I'm going to put the agenda in the chat right now. Uh, you should be able to access that and view. Special thanks to Doug for taking notes today and to Morgan uh, for sharing their screen. Um, also, special thanks to Doug for putting everyone in the attendees list uh, right now. Thanks, Doug. So uh, we're going to get started uh, following the standard speaker queue mechanism. Uh, I have my high-tech speaker queue equipment here for anyone who uh, forgot how this works or it's their first time. Um, if you have something you'd like to add to the conversation, uh, just type a uh, plus hand in the chat. Uh, I'll record you, I'll acknowledge it, uh, and then uh, we'll just do a standard FIFO queue for uh, doing the conversation. So with that, uh, let's get started here. Looks like, Jonathan, you've got a demo, kubectl plugin demo and discussion. So I'm going to let you take it away. Jonathan, you back now? He's there. I'm not sure he can hear us. Let's see. Yeah, he was there a minute ago, then he vanished. I see you, Jonathan, but it looks like you're muted. He's hiding. I see your head moving around. Are you unable to come off mute, Jonathan? Actually, uh, Aaron, can you unmute him? I can, I believe. Jonathan, can you hear us? Maybe we should Perhaps come back to Jonathan. All righty. Um, I'll remute you, Jonathan. And yeah, we've we been will... having trouble with his stuff lately. So, Okay. Uh, we will come back to you, Jonathan. Hopefully, you can give that demo because I've been looking forward to it for one. Um, second up is Dave. Uh, it looks like you've got a UI introduction. So, Dave, go ahead and take it away. All right. Can you hear me? We can. I can. Okay, excellent. Uh, my name is Dave Parsons. I'm a uh, software engineer at Google. Uh, I work on front end uh, for a couple different projects, but um, the piece I'm interested in here is uh, I uh, want to see if there's any interest or, or activity around building some UI for uh, the service catalog and for uh, installing brokers, and attaching the services, um, seeing if anybody has, uh, you know, not to discuss here, but to take offline uh, in another forum and, and discuss uh, like how we could go forward with that. Cool. Is there a best way, Dave, to contact you? Uh, Slack, email, something else? Uh, yeah, email. Uh, my email is daveparsons at google.com. Cool. Uh, Doug, you got your hand up, so go ahead. Yeah, so just, I assume when you mean UI, you mean some sort of browser kind of wrapper shell to the whole thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I'm imagining this could go into the, uh, like, Kubernetes dashboard as an example of, uh, you know, being able to attach services. Attach okay. services. Right, is dashboard case, yeah. pluggable or something? Or how does uh, that work? There has been proposals, I think, for uh, making it pluggable. Um, so that might be a piece of the work as well. As kind of All right, so once again, tip of the spear. Yeah. <laughs> so Everything Dave, is I, pluggable. <laughs> yeah. So Dave, I'm definitely interested in that, and I'd love to see something going forward on that. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. Please reach out to me uh, over email. All right, uh, Jessica, you got your hand up. Go okay. ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, hi. I'm, I'm the UI lead on OpenShift, so we're actually already building a UI around Service Catalog. So definitely, um, we'd be interested in reaching out and getting some common use cases around the experience. Okay, excellent. Great. Cool. Uh, Jessica and anyone else, did you get uh, Dave's email address? Yeah. What is it's, it again, Dave? It's uh, Dave Parsons, all together, at google.com. Yes, perfect. Got it. Great. Any other comments, questions uh, on the UI side of things? Going once. All righty. Uh, let's circle back. Jonathan, are you on? Looks like maybe no. I don't see him. Okay. Um, 
So I'll, I'll make a note there. Uh, I would love to see this demo because we're working on something similar um, over here at Microsoft. So Jonathan, you're not on right now. In case you're watching this later, um, I'll contact you offline, uh, see if we can get the demo one-on-one uh, -on -one and, and if we can schedule this for maybe next time. Uh, Doug, it looks like you got your hand, so go ahead. Yeah, just questions. You mentioned you guys are working on something. What specifically are you working on? Because I know Jonathan's been working on obviously Coup Patrol plugin type stuff, uh, in particular doing things like uh, asking for a relist of the brokers, potentially nicer UI around registering a broker, creating a service broker, creating a binding. Are you, are you looking at doing something similar? Yeah, it's going to be something similar. Um, Doug, if you'd like, I can kind of include you with the discussion with Jonathan uh, and give some more detail. Yeah, I'd be very interested in, in hearing that because obviously I, my biggest concern is I don't want duplicate effort. So yeah, let's try to merge if we are, yeah. if, we, if, if we can, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all righty. Um, so yeah, I'll hope to get the, the uh, demo from Jonathan uh, later, maybe next week or something. Uh, and with that, we're on to the last point. Does anyone have any other business uh, demos, discussions, anything else? Going once. Oh, Jonathan, you're back. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, my environment crashed. I'm going to have to re up my Kube cluster. Just give me a second. Sorry. Okay. We're going to pause on the any other business for a second, and maybe we can get this demo. Let me stop and you can start. I mean, you can, you can keep going on whatever you're going. No, it's all up to you. We're just... Not to put any pressure on you. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you can share and we can look at your uh, cube up come up. Or not. How do I screen share? There should be a button that's like green and it says screen share on the main main window hmm. zoom window let's see if this works yeah gotcha. yeah all right can you make your text a little bit bigger on the terminal jonathan so you can really see all the perfect oh crap uh, I hope it's all still in my history. This might be getting all of the demo failures out of the way, Jonathan. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm good. Glad I know exactly what to do because literally five minutes before one o'clock, my cluster crashed and I had to re-up it. Nice. So <laughs> while we're waiting, um, we have the face-to-face -face meeting coming up soon. Are there any questions or things we're forgetting to, to do in preparation for that? Because I know people are probably going to be going on vacation soon and want to make sure everything's aligned before face-to-face -face, uh, a week from, I'm sorry, two weeks from today. The stars are aligned. Well, Jupiter and Venus are aligned. Go out about 45 minutes before a sunrise. It's nice. Did you take any pictures? Of two dots? No. Well, you can have a fancy lens or a telescope. I don't have a telescope, but so with regard to Doug's question, um, anybody have any comments about the face-to-face -face meeting in Raleigh? 
just to repeat. Alrighty. So if you do, I think, um, Doug, is the Google group maybe a good place to put those questions? I guess, or directly into the, uh, the agenda doc. Okay. Uh, do you mind pasting the link to the agenda doc into the chat here? Yep. Just yep. Make sure. Bring it up right now. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks, Doug. Yep. Typeity type any type type type. <laughs> well, you're not in. Uh, well, like, I don't know what directory you're in. Okay, that's probably what you wanted. So it's not working. <laughs> Oh, it's plugins path. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So uh, I'd hoped to have a live service broker for this demo. Unfortunately, I was not able to get all the wiring in the back end um, together. Um, so I'm also working uh, on uh, converting a dummy service broker that Cloud Foundry uses for running integration tests so it can run on Kube. Um, so once I'm done with that, I'll, I'll push that up in a repo so everybody can use it if they want. Um, but it should make testing hopefully a lot easier. So. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to go over some of the basic stuff I've been working on. Uh, some of you might be familiar with this from Simon's work on these plugins. Um, so, just to sort of, oh, well, this is not as nice as I had hoped. Um, so, mainly create and then relist. Um, so, create is pretty much just a, a wrapper around the default kube control create command. Um, where instead of having to specify the YAML, uh, you're just going to have to type in whatever you want to call the cluster service broker and then uh, the URL that it's the base URL that it's reachable at. So, for the purposes of this, it's not actually going to go to a thing. Uh, but you can see that the YAML was created with all the fields populated. It's got the the URL, the initial initial relist requests. Um, yay! Yay! Does relist uh, work? Can you? Does that increment that? Yeah. Thing. So that's what I was going to do next. Sorry. <laughs> so this just. Um, it's going to pull this con uh, YAML file, uh, increment that relist requests, and then upgrade it. Woohoo! Uh, so this is, I am told that this is interesting because this is sort of a two step process. If you were to do that manually, it would be two commands and you'd have to edit the YAML yourself. Um, so this is just sort of an example of what I'm working on. Uh, the other commands are fairly simplistic. They were implemented mostly by Simon. The realist one was something I added. Um, I'm also thinking of going down the list of uh, commands that are present in the Cloud Foundry CLI for interacting with service brokers uh, to be able to like browse the available services and such rather than having to pull those raw YAMLs yourself. Is that something we would be interested in having? Um, this is still in sort of a basic state, so I just wanted to get feedback for is this something we're interested in pursuing? Is this something we'd like to have? I'm not really sure if people. So Doug's got a hand up. Uh, go ahead, Doug. Yeah, so as you mentioned, I, I think the, the realist one is probably one of the more interesting ones because it's exactly what you said. It involves more than just a simple you know, put or post. It involves getting, updating, and putting back. 
Uh, so we're making life easier there. In terms of additional commands, um, I think a lot of it in terms of, of, for example, being able to get back the list of service brokers, the list of services, I think a lot of that's going to depend on, on whether we allow or whether Kubernetes allows us to customize the get, the Kube control get actions. Um, I know there have been lots of talk about doing that on the server side, so not every client has to go modify their YAML, I'm sorry, their configuration file to specify what columns to come back. Um, so until the server actually has a nice way to, to make uh, the Kube control get for service brokers, as an example, uh, customizable on the server side, so not all clients need to do it, I think it might actually be worth us exploring a, a customized Kube control plugin to pull back some of these things um, as you're describing the, the Cloud Foundry way, especially since we don't want to display the, the GUIDs if we can avoid it, right? We want the nice names. So I think yeah, that might I, be worth exploring. Oh. Am I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure. Am I allowed to respond or? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Right. Um, yeah, I could go ahead and do that right now. Uh, so, uh, Kind of hard to see because these letters are so big, but yeah, I could go ahead and, and print it out in a table like I did here in the response when I create the service broker. So I, I would be able to just list it the same way it is in the CFCLI if you're familiar with that, uh, with the the whole service marketplace. Yeah. So from my point of view, I, I think, like I said, I think that might be useful until the native Kube control has the ability to do that um, for us. Uh, but however, I, I wouldn't want you to waste your time on it unless there's enough people in the group that you think that be, it would be worthwhile. Because I don't want you to do the work just to have it rejected. So I'd like to hear what other people think. Cool. Um, I will actually put my hand down. Uh, Jessica, you put your hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to mention um, Juan from Red Hat is actually actively working on the server side Git for uh, Kube Control. So. That is in progress. Any ETA on that? Um, I'm not sure. I know we're trying to make it happen as quickly as possible. Okay. Cool. Um, any other comments or questions about this plugin? Going once. Uh, Doug, got your hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, so Aaron, you guys had mentioned, or you had mentioned that Microsoft was interested in this space as well. What were the types of plugins you guys were thinking about? Um, we, I'm not allowed to say a ton right now. Um, we didn't implement a plugin, uh, but Doug, I'll go and ask some folks uh, what we can talk about at the moment. Um, and then first step, I'll talk with you guys, you and Jonathan, and then um, I'll come back with a demo as well. To this group. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, so Jonathan, just out of curiosity, how much work do you think it would be to do just one of the plugins for Get to, to show prettier output? Is it a lot of work or the kind of thing where it's like a, a day or so just so people could see what it might look like? Uh, if we're only talking about prettier output, I could do that in a day or so. Do you uh, think that'd be worthwhile to explore? Well, so the, the, the current problem um, is I'm sort of stuck at the moment. So I don't know if you're familiar. Uh, back when Simon was originally working on these plugins, there was a, a pull request from Juan Vallejo, who I think works for Red Hat, um, to sort of make uh, a lot of the like utility, the backend stuff more robust. Uh, and I'm currently waiting. I asked him to, to uh, update that pull request and submit it to my fork because I don't have access to Simon's repo. Uh, and he said he would, and I'm waiting on that to happen so I can merge his pull request. Otherwise, I'm going to have to duplicate a lot of work. Uh, and once that happens, uh, I'll be able to make more robust. Because right now, the thing I just showed you is very fragile. Um, like, you had saw I had to specify a whole bunch of environment variables to get it to talk to the, the right API server and all that. And uh, I'm eventually hoping to have to do away with that. You literally, it's just going to be able to figure it out all by itself. Um, so I'm not really, I don't think these commands are quite ready for prime time just yet. Um, but once that happens, it should be much easier. I should be able to bang out commands in a day or so from conception to being, I would say, like ready for, for public use. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Uh, I got a hand up. Um, I was, I'll just throw in my support behind having a get. Uh, for at least service classes, probably brokers, and, and maybe the other two or three resources as well, uh, make things a little more human readable. 
which is not really a tall order when you when you uh, look at the YAML as the alternative. Uh, I'll also say, last thing, um, this is really a UI, uh, just like the web UI. Uh, I would group it together. Uh, and if we do have sort of, let's call it a release uh, of UI tools for service catalog, uh, it'd be great to kind of release both in a package, if you will, uh, at least from purposes of like a blog post or an announcement. Uh, that's it for me. So I'm not, I'm not immediately familiar with what we have. Do we have a web front end for the service cat? Um, while you were offline, Jonathan, um, duh, who, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, Dave. Dave. Yeah, Dave discussed uh, some ideas and asked for whether people are into having a UI. So that's decent. Cool. Uh, Jessica, I got a hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say that um, one is Red Hat. That's the same person that's doing the... Um, service I get. Oh, okay, yeah. So um, you said you need them to open it against your fork instead? Is that the issue? Yeah, I, I messaged him to GitHub already, like a week ago, and he said he would do it, but I mean, I haven't heard from him since. Okay, I will uh, prod him on our IRC and make sure he does that. Okay, cool. Great. Any other comments around the plugin? Questions? Anything like that going once? All right. We are now on to the final point. Uh, any other business comments, questions about this space? Anything anyone wants to bring up? Going once? Okay. Uh, our next meeting is going to be a week from today on Monday, the 20th of November. Um, so unless anyone brings anything up in the group that they need to discuss before then, uh, we will see everyone then. Thanks everybody. Bye.